<laughs> hey guys, Barney B here doing another trout streams, Michigan trout streams video. Um, last week, people were talking about um, what a creek was and a stream and a river and how to, you know, how do we define those terms? And I don't know what the answer is, but I think um, they're just uh, terms in the names that when they were named, I guess. If anybody has any better information on that, please share for sure. But I wanted to share um, what I, my, my experience with dealing with <clears throat> like aquatic science and flowing water. Uh, usually people talk about in those sort of arenas, they talk about streams as orders, uh, which is how they kind of identify the size of them rather than uh, calling them creeks or streams or brooks. Um, and I think this works pretty well. Um, it, what it does is it, is it, it provides a number one through, uh, I think 11 is the biggest stream we have in the, the United States, which I think is the Mississippi. And <clears throat> I'll show you how it works here. I drew a little diagram, but I think it'd be helpful to know this because as we, when we talk about Michigan trout streams, it's easier to sort of have an idea of what that stretch of stream looks like if we can know if we know the order of it. So if it's a first order stream, uh, it's usually it's a not usually it is the furthest stream up in the watershed. So it's the smallest stream. A lot of times these are ag ditches. A lot of times there's small streams that go through a wooded area that are totally shaded, cold water. Um, <clears throat> but here's how it works. So the 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 smallest stream furthest up in the watershed is a first order stream. And then to become a second order stream, you have to have two first order streams come together. And then it's a two. Now, this is a terrible diagram, I know. And my, my two doesn't look great, but um, bear with me. So here's a one, another one uh, order stream. And that goes into the two, but that doesn't make it a three yet because you have to have two second order streams come together to make it a third order stream. And then down here, we have two ones come together to make a, uh, blocking it, two ones to make a two. And then th these two twos come together to make a three. Yes, that is a three. <laughs> I have terrible handwriting. So, um, and you can do this by, you know, just opening up Google Maps and uh, counting the if you want to find what order stream you are you just count you start high up in the watershed and just kind of count down uh, sometimes you got to get a bigger view of of the area uh, it can take a while but when you when you start to know your watershed you'll be able to identify the stream order uh, more differently like for example a famous stream fishing stream in michigan is the alsabo river um, uh, I think it's above Mayo, I think that area, but I believe that's like a four, fourth order stream. Um, the Mississippi is an 11 order stream, so there's two 10s that come together. I think it's an 11, I could be wrong about that. But um, let me know if you guys think this, this sort of uh, stream ordering system is more helpful. There are a couple different ways that it's done too, but this is the one that I most often see people referring to. So, um, yeah, tight lines, be safe out there. Cheers.